Okay, what I'm looking at here is a Mercury 45 horse with tilt trim. And we had it fired up in the, uh, well, it was on the boat in my driveway. Um, it was uh, the customer that had just bought that 85 horse uh, I sold finally. <clears throat> he just put, we, we swapped out the engines, but he asked me to go through this engine and find out what's wrong with it. Now, we had it running, and all of a sudden we lost spark. And I'm not sure what, what happened. It was running poorly, but it was running. And all of a sudden we lost spark. So I pulled the flywheel on it. And I don't really, the only thing I see is kind of like a crispy critter or something here under the flywheel or, you know, inside the stator. I'm not even sure what this is. Could be some sort of cocoon. But, uh, um, I was just wondering maybe the stator. I'm going to probably do an ohms check, uh, on the stator and see if that's bad. It, it didn't look bad. I don't see any, you know, cracking or anything like that. It looks terrible. Also, the woodruff key for the flywheel is in good shape. Just connect it and then we'll do an ohms test and see. But I'll start there. And if that ohms out okay, the next thing probably would be the trigger and then uh, maybe the uh, the box, the uh, power the uh, power pack. Because I don't think all four coils would go out at once. It's got to be either a bad ground uh, or, or one of these one of these systems failed. So anyway, I'm I'm starting to work on that, and I'll uh, I'll get back to you when I when I get that going. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the stator, the uh, resistance on the stator. So I've got to disconnect all the leads to the stator. Um, we've got a uh, a red and white, so that's that's to the stator. We've got this blue one, then we've got the blue and white. And then we've got a red one down here. So we've got, to, we've got to take all these off. And then we can check them for ohms. And, uh, so let me, let me start with this. Okay. According to the, I got all the wires off for the CDI. Or I'm sorry, the stator. These are all leads to the stator. And the uh, blue and blue and white, this is the, this is the blue, okay? You can barely just make it out, but that's blue at the tip. It's actually turned kind of dark, you can't tell, but that's blue. And then the blue and white is right here. You see the white strip? It's kind of, looks to me like it's turned black or green. I can't really tell, but when you pull the boots down and you can see the blue and white. So <clears throat> blue to blue and white is supposed to be 5,000 to 7,000 ohms of resistance. So I'm going to set my scale here on my meter to two, uh, two, or 20,000. 20,000. <clears> that should get, that should get me what I need. So I'm going to hook that on there. I'm going to hook this on this one. I'm going to hold that. And what do I see? I have 6.45 thousand ohms. So I think it was, yeah, four to seven or five to seven thousand was the, uh, five to seven was the spec. So 6.5 thousand ohms. So I, that looks pretty good. Um, <clears throat> okay, so the red and red and white, uh, <clears throat> this one here, red. To the red and white which should be here so I gotta set this to the 200 scale two hundred scale <clears throat> And I've got 137.3. So 125 to 155 ohms uh, is the actual spec. Falls right into spec. Okay, so that's uh, the, the red and the red and white leads. So the red and red and white wires are the high-speed coils and should produce a 
minimum of 25 volts. So I need to set my voltmeter to 500 volts AC. What I've got to do is I've got to hook up my, this is, this is called a DVA adapter. And it's, it's labeled plus and minus. So it goes in this way. It's an adapter for this voltmeter. So that just plugs in like that. I'm going to have to find a happier home for this because this is, I got to crank the engine when I do this. Maybe that will work, huh? Okay, let's see if these, if I can. Okay, now <clears throat> I've just hooked up the uh, leads to the high speed coil wires, which are the red and red and white. This little band on here is yellow, but this is actually a yellow or red and uh, white wire, and this is red. So that's uh, that should give me ab anything above 25 volts is considered good. So 77, 78 volts is good. Now I'm going to move over to the uh, uh, to the low speed coil, which is the blue and blue and white. Then that's hooked up, and we'll try again. Uh, okay, the leads did stay. Okay, <clears throat> try again. Let that zero out. And this should be anything over 180 volts. Okay, that's good. I got 450. So <clears throat> with the DVA adapter, those values are perfect, so I don't have any issue with the stator. Just for the record, I did check all of these leads to ground and got an infinity on the on the uh volt voltmeter. So there was no there was no continuity for any of these to ground. So that that showed that, that circuit was good. Uh, I also checked <clears throat> the uh kill switch. This is the kill switch. It's the uh um it's got this this color here, this this uh black and <clears throat> yellow striped wire and that's here and I've already taken that off and tried to crank it and got no spark so I know that the kill switch circuit is working okay the switch is working everything's good so <clears throat> anyway that's been verified I believe with the, the ohms resistance and the uh, DVA adapter voltage readings that stator is good um, next I'll have to go through and probably check the trigger just to make sure that that looks okay. So that's next. Okay, for the uh, trigger now, we're gonna be testing this side of the uh, switch box. And so this is going to be the white wire. It doesn't look white, but that is the white wire. <clears throat> and the purple wire. So there's the purple wire. And we've got that connected. <laughs> And we're reading 793 ohms. The spec is 800 ohms to 1400 ohms. So that's just slightly under, but it's still good, I think. My, my meter could be a little off too. So that's good. The next leads to check are the brown to uh, black and white wire. Now you can just maybe barely pick that up, but it's mostly black. I don't see any white in it, but that's supposed to be the black and white wire again on the trigger and I'm supposed to get 800 to 1400 ohms. So again, it's 793. So I think that's fine. So we'll go on to the next. So the next next step is checking all of these wires to ground. So I'm gonna use this as my ground and that wire is hooked up and I, I read infinite resistance, so that's good. So I'll go to the next one. No reading, infinite, that's good. The white wire. Again, infinite, so that's good. Passes, purple. Purple 
pull to ground and we read infinite. So that's the trigger is in good shape. So trigger passes. Well, the trigger passes at least up to this point for the uh, for the ohms. Now we're going to do the DEVA uh, voltage uh, test on it as well. Okay, so I need four volts, <clears throat> purple to white wire, while cranking. So I've got to I've got to see if I can do this. <laughs> I need three hands. So as long as I can touch the lead here. So I'm purple to, to white, and maybe I can get you to see the, the result here. That was four, six, six volts. Six, see, just over six volts it went up to, so that's good. Now, okay, next is brown to white and black. And again, just had to touch the lead. And then we can look over at our meter. Brown to black and white. We'll see what happens. 6.9 volts, perfect, okay. Okay, the next is purple to ground. I should get one volt or more. I got over six volts. Well, that's good. Next one is going to be uh, white to ground. Try that one. Want to touch the lead? Yeah, over six volts on that as well. Brown to brown. Five point three. And last but not least, black and white to ground. It's over six volts. So that, that concludes that. That concludes that that uh, trigger is fine. The final check is on the power pack, and I, I'm going to be testing with the DVA the from the blue wire to the white wire, and I should get anywhere from uh, 180 volts to 400 volts uh, during cranking. So uh, that's something that I'm going to try next. So let's see what happens. So I only get three volts, so that's nowhere near enough. So that's the first step. The next one will be uh, the next will be checking blue to blue to ground. So so we'll put this on the ground. and we'll check the blue wire. So I get 299 volts, which is actually, that's okay. So 180 to 400 would be okay. So that, that connection is okay. Um, okay, so the next one is the red to the blue lead. Red to blue. And I'm looking for 
25 to 100 volts. And that's okay. Next is red to ground. So red to ground, and I'm supposed to get 25 to 100 ohms. I'm sorry, our uh, volts. Okay, 20, I got like 67, so that looks okay. Okay, brown to white is supposed to be 0.5 volts or higher. So let's see what I get there. That is about six, I think. Let me change the scale a bit. That's six volts, so that's that's where it's at. So that's that's much higher. So I think that's still good. So I'm going to do a repeat of red to blue and because I believe that voltage reading was way too high, and that's out of spec. So, um, I believe it was only 25 to 100. And I'm Be over. So, I think that's a problem. Yeah, I'm over like 269. So, I think that's really way, way too high, and I think that is the issue I'm having. So that's why I'm call that's why I'm calling it the power pack problem. Even though they're connected and I'm still getting some readings, they're just not right. So we're gonna have uh, we're we're gonna have a power pack on order. So the voltage DVAs are all proper. The uh, resistances are all in spec. So the trigger, the stator are fine. It's the power pack that's bad. So I'm going to contact the customer and uh, that's what we're going to get on order and get this thing running again. And remember to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.